guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to film a quick little haul video for you guys from Joann's I have this huge box as you can see and I wanted to shoot this because I've been cleaning all morning and I wanted to get this big box out of the way so I'm literally just filming this on my floor in my pajamas so I hope you guys don't mind but let's jump right in um, did I apologize for this lighting already Oh well, I'm going to apologize anyways because I'm not using my ring light. I'm literally going off a of natural lighting right now from my window. So hopefully it isn't too dark for you guys. I have like no makeup on. Hope I don't look too disgusting. But I woke up like this. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with the first product that I actually... This is the reason why I bought stuff from Joann's. And it is a paper cutter. And as you can see, I already used it. I was too excited. But... It's just a paper cutter because I've been making a lot of pocket letters recently and it's kind of annoying sizing down 12 by 12s by hand because sometimes it just doesn't come out as straight as you want it to and this is just quick and easy. So I picked this up. Next I picked up a few paper pads that are 6 by 6s because I've been getting into making flip books recently and I only had like, okay I only had like 4. 6x6 six six pads, but I wanted more double-sided ones so I wouldn't have to double-side them myself. So I picked three up, and this one is from Webster's Pages, this one is from We Are Memory Keepers, and this one is from Julie Nutting. And I'll show you guys a little bit of each. Let's see if I can make this graceful. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing this. Okay, so this one is the Julie Nutting, and as you can see, it's double-sided. Sorry if somehow there's a glare because... Sunshine obviously hates me. But this one's really pretty and really girly. And there's 36 sheets in that. This We Are Memory Keepers has 24 sheets. Kind of sucks, but whatever, I'll deal with it. I really like the fact that there's kind of like a mini journaling page that you can cut these out. So I will definitely do that. There's only two of them, but it's okay. I'll deal with it. So there's that. And there's a bunch of colorful pages. I like the theme for this one. Um, this paper pad, I think, is called Hello Darling. Oh, don't I have another Hello Darling paper pad? Mm, I don't think it's from that company. So this one is the Webster's Pages one. And it's just loose papers, which I didn't know, but who cares? Same thing. And I wanted to get this because my two planners are Webster Pages planners, and I wondered if they would like kind of go together. But um, this is by Allison Craft Designs, I guess, in unison with Webster's Pages. And look how cute the hot air balloons! And then it's yellow on the other side. I believe there's two of every design. I'm gonna quickly show you guys these. I guess you don't really care about the backs, right? Look how cute! They're like unicorns, balloon animals. I, this is the back. I guess you don't really need to see the backs. There's a lot of this onesie pattern. I didn't know if it's supposedly like a baby theme or something, but I guess I can keep it for when the day comes. Ooh, I didn't even notice there was journaling cards. Woohoo! And there's some banners on the back, so I'll be using all those. And. those are the last two designs. So that's it for the paper pads. Next I've got two ephemera packs. This one is the Heidi Swap. Ugh, sorry, they're all jumbled up onto the top. This one's the Heidi Swap ephemera and it comes with 73 pieces. I actually opened this recently like a couple days ago and it's pretty cool. There's like some chipboard version ones and some vellum ones too which I didn't know. I don't know if I really necessarily would have bought vellum by itself so I'm glad it came in this. And I also bought the Tim Holtz Ideology Ephemera Pack in Emporium and I love this because there's a lot of like airmail stuff and I can't wait to use this because I actually just purchased a Midori notebook, a traveler's notebook. and. I wanted to use all this vintage looking ephemera and stuff for that and I'm so excited and plus I like using them in my pocket letters and whatnot so I will find a lot of uses for these I'm like obsessed with buying ephemera uh, like I, I can't even explain it to you guys like I constantly look up ephemera on like the different craft websites to see when they're on sale and stuff it's just it's just weird 
Anywho, next I've got my Border Punch from Martha Stewart's, and it is called the Floral Lace. And it is super cute, and I got this because I don't have an edge punch yet. And it was on sale, I think, at the time that I bought it, and I was like, might as well pick it up now. Next up, I've got two of these refills for the Scotch Adhesive Gun. Um, funny story about this, I bought the two refills, and then I accidentally didn't put <laughs> the actual tape runner in my cart, so... I have to pick that up sometime soon because I have four rolls now because there's two in each box and they're it's a total of 72 yards in both boxes so that's a lot of adhesive roller so I will definitely invest in the full size thing because I have all the refills so why not next I've got a Tim Holtz distress ink in old paper and I just picked one of these babies up because it was on sale and I've been liken the whole vintage paper looking thing so I got this one and I'm kind of new to the distress ink so I'm not sure I didn't know which color to exactly pick so I figured old paper would look like old paper so I don't know maybe let me know what your favorite distress ink is because I need to pick up more of these I like the idea of doing that and I've seen so many YouTube tutorials with people doing that and I'm jealous so next I picked up this Disney Villain sticker pack and it comes with 104 stickers and I just picked it up because I love villains and I just loved how it looked and it just, look at these stickers, this one says, just a touch of evil. That sounds just like me. Next I'm so super excited for this purchase and it is a Star Wars washi tape Woo! and it has stormtroopers on it. Let me show you guys a bit of it. And I just love this. It's by Sandy Lion, which I'm so surprised because that back in the day was the ish. And this is, has 50 feet of tape, so I will never run out of this, I hope. But look how awesome it looks. So I'm like obsessed with washi and this just completes it. Well, it doesn't complete it because I'm never going to stop. But I was wondering if there's more types of this. I didn't see any on Joann's, but I heard um, Hobby Lobby does. So... Maybe they'll have some on their website. I haven't checked. But sorry, my OCD. I have to make sure it's aligned perfectly straight. Okay, so that's the Star Wars washi. Next, I picked up this little pack of 3D foam squares. And there's 217 pieces. And I just bought this so that I can make dimensional things for my pocket letters and projects and stuff. So I just figured I needed it for something. Next, I picked up my favorite thing well actually this might this is my second favorite thing to the Star Wars washi because that was amazing and this is from Santoro and it's those gorgeous stamps and this one is the little girl in a little teacup and she's so cute this is called let's see if the name is on here I know they have different names but can't really find the name of this one so we're just gonna pretend that we know. So there's seven pieces in this and it comes with the little girl of course in the teacup and I just love it because she's a bow and a hair and like this is my exact haircut that I used to have when I was little so it was just like oh it's like me in a teacup so I picked it up and there's also different stamps inside so I'm excited that I got this on sale. So the last three things in my haul are all Project Life kits and stuff so this one is just a mini kit and it's the love themed one and it comes with four four by six title cards four four by six journaling cards and 32 three by four journaling cards and i believe they're all double sided so i'll give you guys a quick little look right now and this i believe is the becky higgins like um, designs so they're so cute oh and they're double sided so i'm in love Sorry if I'm not showing you guys every single bit, but I don't want to make this video too long, especially since I have two more boxes of these. And these are so cute. So I picked up, I'm getting really into the Project Life cards, not necessarily to do a Project Life like memory book, but for like putting them in friend mail and happy mail and just using them. I'm thinking about using them in my journaling more now that I've got a Midori on its way. So I'm, I don't know. They're so versatile and I just love how they all look, so 
Hopefully I don't buy any more kits from now on. Next up, I've got the Good Times Project Life kit. Okay, so don't get mad at me. This one got really fudged up because I opened it. I was excited and I wanted to look through it. And for some reason, it just won't stay in place. So yeah, there's 180 cards. There's 30 of the 4x6 title cards, 30 of the 4x6 journaling cards, and 120 of the 3x4. So let me give you guys a quick little look. Once again, this is a Becky Higgins design one, and it is called Good Times. I can't even, I can't even, like, I'm such a hot mess right now. Let me show you the big ones first. So they're supposedly supposed to be like a chalkboard design. Honestly, I don't know how much I like this, if I like it at all, because it just doesn't look that well made to me. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's not that focused and it's a little blurry how the things ended up printed on it. I mean, like, I like it, I'll use it, but I mean, I think they could have done a better job with the quality of the printing. So those are the three by fours. Sorry if I didn't show all of them, but there's way too many to get through. So these are the baby ones. Like, look at this. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's not only the MacBook webcam quality right now, because you know that quality of the webcam is pretty good, but it is really kind of blurry. So, so it's, but it's all right. They're so cute. I just love the sayings on these, so I, I will always keep getting them. And once again, I'm sorry if I'm busting through these really fast. I just don't want to make this a two hour long video. Ooh, so cute. So that's one stack. Sorry I'm not showing you guys the back sides to these two because I'm just too lazy. Sorry. <laughs> At least I'm being honest. I hope this is clear enough for you guys. I should have set up my camera but you know that's effort and sometimes I'm just a lazy gal. Is this upside down? Oop, that is. Anywho, this is not a Project Life video, so let's get to the next one. This next one is also open, sorry guys. This one is the Gold Foil Heidi Swap Kit, and it comes with 30 4x6 foil cards, 33x4 foil cards, and 70 foil chipboard embellishments. So let's open this one up for you guys. So I'm kind of annoyed that these chipboard ones don't come in a little plastic container like the Be Fearless I think it is. But they're really cute but I just wish they had come in their own container because I don't want to lose them so I'm not going to really move them around a lot. And let's take out the cards. So when I first saw this in the store, I, it was so hard to decide between this one and the Be Fearless one, but since I like black and gold a lot, I picked that one. There's a lot. It's cute. I like the, the thing I like about the Heidi Swap collections and anything is because the font she uses is amazing and I love the gold foiling in this one. Now here are the 3x4s. Sorry if the light is reflecting off of it. Also the ones in this pack are not double sided. FYI. I feel like that's always a bonus when the Project Life cards are double sided. I love that. For Happy Mail, this is going to be perfect. What does this say? Oh. Well, maybe if I put it not upside down, I'd understand. I love this one. Let's 
And that's those cards in this pack. So that pretty much wraps up my Joann's haul for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it, it wasn't too janky for you guys. Sorry, I'll try to do better next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos.